Okay, so for our binding pieces for the vinyl, we need to press them to get them ready. So first of all, I press mine in half with quite a hot iron. Um, watch your fingers because it gets a bit burny. And then I press towards the center on each side. this step just make sure that you put a bit of a crease in it so you know where to fold it in so then I fold them together and press over them again And then the best thing to use to keep it nice and flat is a clapper if you have one that just keeps the heat in a bit longer to keep the, the folds pressed better. Okay, for the zipper in the vinyl pocket, we need to just prepare that, get that ready um, to stitch in. So we're gonna add some tabs to the sides of our zipper. What I do, is I use some really fine pins and just hold it in place. You could use some basting glue, that's another idea that would just keep it in place until we're ready to stitch it. So you do both edges of the zipper. And then that's ready to go. Okay, so we're going to prepare our vinyl for the inside vinyl pocket. So what we need to do is we need to mark out on each of the corners, first of all an inch and then an inch and a half. And we do that on every single corner. Once we've done that, we can uh, clip the corners ready to stitch them so basically what we need to do is we fold the inside marking the one and a half inch marking and pin pinch that and then put it lay it on top of the one inch marking and we put a clip in it so it'll be like that so you could just line the two up but fold the top one over so you make a pleat and basically you want your pleat so that the outer part sits flat and the inner part you end up with extra space so that when you put your finished blocks in you've got a little bit of give in it okay next up we want to just baste the pleats that we made in our vinyl just to hold it in place so I do that about an eighth of an inch from the raw edge or the edge on all four and repeat it on all four corners up we're going to add the binding to our inner flat vinyl pocket so like we did with the other vinyl pieces we just clip it on obviously the the pleats can make it a bit trickier to keep in place but if we just clip it in place and keep it like that and then we're going to top stitch it on.
there we go it's in it's held in place we now need to sew on our zipper tabs so we're going to do just some top stitching down here and then i like to do another one underneath uh, which i'll show you in a second We do this on both sides to hold it in place. Take out the pins. And then I separate the tabs. And I just stitch down the middle. just for a bit of extra security. Okay, so next we're gonna attach our zipper to our vinyl. Uh, I use some big clips for this just to hold it in place. Sometimes you can just do it through, like keep the zip open. Um, And then just position it how you like. I like mine to be quite reasonably close to the teeth of the zip. Uh, you will fiddle with it while you're doing it. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can glue baste it, which I'll show you that way as well. Okay, so the other way you can keep it in, in place so you know that it's not going to move is by using some of this glue based. I find this very, this one very good, especially for this case, it's quite handy. So you just put it along your zipper. Okay, Next up, we need to attach our binding to the top of the zipper. So we just position it and use a couple of binding clips to hold it in place. Ready to top stitch. Like that. And then we're ready to sew. Okay, so now we're going to top stitch the other side on. And again, I'm using my walking foot for this.
and there it is ready to put on top of our inside flat pocket okay so next up we're going to attach our inside pocket to the inside lining I'm sorry if I'm getting these names wrong it's always hard to remember when you're doing it on video uh, yeah so you want to base with binding clips just be really careful you don't want to leave these on for too long otherwise you'll get dents in the vinyl um, so don't do too many just do a few And then we're going to machine baste all the way around and attach it at the top. Okay. So now we are going to top stitch the top of our pocket in place. And then we are going to base the whole rest of it, that one eighth of an inch, to keep your vinyl in place. So that's our pocket done and then we'll just put it aside ready to put the rest of it together okay so next up I'm going to show you how to make your magnetic snap this is one I prepared earlier so it will like look like this uh, the one half of it so we're going you what you need is your fabric that you've cut and interfaced and then you need your pat pattern piece in order to do that uh, then we're going to need a ruler and a marker and then for cutting our holes this is what I like to use you can use a pair of scissors but I like this it's nice and sharp and it just makes the right size hole you will need two of these discs this reinforces from the back side uh, and then you need your two um, magnetic snap pieces that snap together so male and female half we're only going to be inserting one half for the moment. The other half inserts exactly the same way. Uh, you just need to follow the pattern to see where to insert that. So I won't go through it twice. Okay, so on the back side of your fabric, you need to fold right sides together and about half an inch down make a line this is a water erasable pen so you can take it off later if you feel like you can see it on light fabric uh, and then about a half an inch ish down maybe slightly more 
make another little line and then we grab one of the discs the reinforcing disc and put the circle in the middle um, so the top or around the cross it doesn't have to be exact sort of lower down the line would be better to hold it in place and then grab your tool whatever you use make a hole and then on the right side of the fabric grab I, I like to put the male piece in so the male piece has a little bump on it and then one of your discs and then we're going to fold the prongs inwards because when you sew around this later you want to not sew over the metal because otherwise you'll break your needle um and i would recommend using a zipper foot just to get around this there you go that's in place <laughs> 